love coach Macy, also known as Reverend Lunch Lady here, here at the Love Advantage Worldwide Headquarters. And welcome replay viewers, so glad you're here. So I wanted to talk about some things, but first, if you haven't liked this page, if you're a smart, single, spiritually conscious woman who really wants to find lasting love in the next two years, like you want to get married, you want a commitment, you want to be engaged, you want that level of um, relationship, then like this page, share this with your other single friends because we really want you here. Hey, Peter. Um, so thanks for being here. And so I am here on a mission to help that woman, the woman who, um, you know, comes to me. I'm the go-to person for the woman who feels like she's kind of an exception in certain circles, but she's got that success. And yet she's wondering if anyone will really get her completely and that she, um, you know, after working with me really feels like she can have what she wants in love. She knows that, you know, the stories, limitations that she's had in the past are just in the past and that when she's able to embrace all of herself, her quirks and all, and actually magnify some of those things that maybe seemed like fatal flaws, but actually are the most magnificent, sexy thing about her, then it's inevitable that love shows up. So that's what I love about doing this work. And it really gets me excited. And so I thought I would do a couple different uh, videos in the next couple days to really talk about some of the big things that I see over and over again. And one of the things is, you know, women who are on the spiritual path, women who are, you know, late 30s, over 40, over 50 or over 60, like already had relationships in their life. And now they're saying, okay, you know what? I've been reading all the books. I'm on my spiritual path. I've done the vision board. I've made the list. I've done all these things. But why am I still attracting unevolved losers or jerks, whatever you want to call it? Whether you're looking for a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. But you're just feeling like who you are and what you're attracting is completely off. So I am here to say welcome to all of you who are joining. So please say hello. Tell me where you're from. Um, I really, you know, what I'm serious about is being helpful. My mission is to be helpful and I've created so many different ways that I can share information. So I'm here to help you. So, hi. Um, so now here's a really conscious loving man. So this is interesting because um, one of the things I hear from, from women all the time is, you know, after doing all of their own kind of work in discovering and feeling like there are no good ones out there, like nothing's matching, then they feel like, what is wrong? Well, I can tell you that there are, there is an abundance of really amazing, smart, available, quality, conscious people in the world that also want love. And so what is, what gives when we're, when things aren't matching up? So here's what I want to share today, it's really not your fault. So number one, it's not really anyone's fault. It's not like you're broken or damaged goods or like really never going to have the kind of relationship you want. Like you've, what you've seen up till now is just saying, you know what? I probably should give up. If you're feeling like that, I get it. It's really discouraging. But the truth is that it's not your fault. We don't learn about relationships. So when we're putting all of this pressure on ourselves to try to figure it out or think that it has to happen organically, that's one of my favorite ones. I'm going to do a whole video on that. But if we think that it just needs to sort of happen, then that's um, that becomes an obstacle because truly um, if we 
have been on the planet for over 35 years <laughs> or longer, like me, it was a lot longer than that once I finally figured this stuff out, then we have collected some interesting information about relationships because we are just doing it unconsciously. We are doing it based on what our parents' relationship looked like. We're doing it based on Brady Bunch reruns. We're doing it based on, you know, movies and videos and Seventeen Magazine, whatever has shaped our idea about relationship then becomes, you know, the matrix of how we are attracting love and how we are being in relationship in the future. So number one, not your fault. Number two, this means that, you know, what do we do when we're seeing that things aren't matching up? Well, it really means that, um, you know, because on one hand I am saying there's nothing wrong with you because there's nothing wrong with you. It's not like you're broken, but there is something that within our body and our nervous system that we can consciously create to support ourselves better in happy, healthy love. So, you know, in that, you know, reading books and watching videos and, you know, doing a vision board can only go so far. So really what I'm talking about is how then can you create a reboot, like a reboot of your nervous system so that you are no longer calling in, um, something that's not matching your heart. And why does that happen? It happens because our bodies are designed, thankfully, beautifully, so amazingly. They're designed to take care of us and to protect us and keep us from harm. And in the relationship space, that off that backfires. Because when we've collected these ideas about, okay, don't date the musician, or, or don't date this, or I'll never let that happen again. And we start, start, you know, within ourselves taking note because our body has an amazing way of capturing and holding that information. Then it's actually wanting, it actually purposely wants to attract losers. It purposely wants to attract unavailable people because that feels best for your body. So that sounds crazy, right? You're like, well, wait, you, but I'm thinking about it. I'm visualizing it. Well, you can't really think your way out of it. So one of the things that I do right out the gate with, with my clients and in, in coaching is we work on that subconscious level so that we can create that reboot right away. And then guess what? You start calling in a new caliber of person. And, you know, as humans over time, you, we're, we're supposed to do some cleanup work every once in a while. It's helpful to, um, to go in and clear out the closets and wash the windows. That's one of my meditation teachers talks about that. It's like, let's clear out these closets so we're not working from old neuroses or, uh, gosh, there was a really funny word that he used. It was like crippled awareness, crippled awareness. And so the crippled awareness just, it means you have this kind of funky perspective on things. So, um, so, so what was the point? Well, if you are just so sick of this, then it really is up to you to say, you know what, I'm going to take, um, a pause and, and get some support and help to, then be able to have this conscious loving relationship and, and do the inner work so that we can peel off the layers that are hiding your brilliance, your amazing you, and, and in a way that comes with 
cultivating that safety and security in you because if you don't feel safe being you then wow you, then that's not going to help either you're just going to be there's a whole new kind of person that's going to show up it's it's just not going to match your your heart's desire so if this sounds important to you and you know you want a relationship in the next year or two years where you're committed you're sharing your life with someone that you love and you're doing it from that grown-up spiritual place then let's have a conversation because if there's stuff in the way and you're no you're looking out at your life and you're saying that's not what i want that is absolutely not what i want to attract and i know how painful it is to be online and thinking you know I know what I want and then having all of these people reach out that completely are not even close to what you want. Then you start thinking, wow, there really is something wrong with me or they're really just a, everyone who's left is like a total loser or jerk or something. And that's just a horrible thing to think about humans because there are so many people out there. I meet men, I meet women who are phenomenal but just need a little support and here's the deal and i'm going to talk about this more later this whole idea of organically meeting someone becomes a huge block because we are in a new we are in different times if you haven't noticed things are moving a lot faster even you know 15 years ago i didn't have I, I didn't even have a cell phone, maybe. Maybe it was 15, maybe it was longer. But, you know, I certainly didn't have an iPhone. I didn't have all these apps. I didn't, I mean, you, you can see how fast things are moving. Life is just different. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of impersonal connections. And, you know, in the days when our parents were just skipping off to the roller rink on a Friday night, like right now, you know, 50 years ago, they're getting ready to go to the roller rink and, or longer ago, um, and meeting people and, and developing relationships that way. That seemed radical because guess what? Before that, people were nearly like arranged marriages. It's like, okay, I have a daughter, you have a son, we've got huge farms, we got to take care of this, we've got to survive, you know, they'll marry and then they'll breed and they'll have kids and then we'll have more people working on the farm that's so times keep evolving so why i'm saying that is because you know the what's actually organic about um creating happy healthy relationships is coming into partnership is getting support is you know hiring a love coach is you know learning the how to navigate the online world because we know like 50% of all marriages they met online. So we know that that works. And so there's a lot of things to consider, you know, and I just want you to know, I want you to leave this knowing that if what you're attracting right now is not feeling good to you, then that all it needs means is let's do a reboot. Let's do a reboot of your nervous system, of your being so that you can be in alignment with what it is that's in your heart. So if you're feeling that, I'm here to help you. So message me and let's have a conversation about what that would look like for you. Like what is in your way right now and how can you move forward? What would the next steps be for you to move forward so that you can meet that awesome person, marry the person, be in a committed relationship, whatever it is your relationship goal is. I want to help you get there. Okay. So Gary is about to go out and spend his Friday night doing what he does, getting all rowdy. Um, not really. He just likes sleeping. But um, anyway, if you are someone I haven't met before, will you please introduce yourself? so I can get to know you better. Thank you for being here. Make sure you like this page. Talk to you soon. Bye.